I want to do a quick video on how I make bait corn. There are many, many different ways to do this. This is just how I do it. You're going to need some corn. I prefer the shoe peg corn because it's a little smaller kernel, but you can use pretty much any corn you can find. You need a container, some cure, and possibly some scents, some added scent. You can use garlic powder, garlic, herring oil, tuna, tuna oil, uh, so this is some super gel. Any of these will work well. Today I will only be doing half a can, so I've separated this out, strained it, and put the extra in a bag, and this will be stored in the freezer. This will keep pretty well in the freezer. I'm going to be doing orange today. Now I just take a spoonful of this, add it to the can, and mix it in. Let this sit for about 15-20 minutes and stir it again. You can also use this same technique to cure shrimp. The shrimp will not last as long as the corn. The shrimp will only last about a week till it starts smelling funky. I just sprinkle a little bit on there. Same as the corn, let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes. All right, so we put in our cure, stirred it, let it sit for 20 minutes, stirred it, let it sit for 20 minutes, and now we're ready for the next step. You can see, even though we drained this corn, the cure has pulled out quite a bit of liquid. Now, I don't like mine so runny, so I'm going to put it on this paper towel and let some of the excess liquid drain off. What I find is it makes it a little bit tougher of a bait, and it stays on the hook. A little better. See all that extra liquid in there. We'll let this sit for oh five or ten minutes and let it drain off a little bit. Also do the same thing with the shrimp that I'm making. All right, so this has sat for a while. Let it drain. You can see quite a bit of liquid. Real quick, I'd just like to ask if you find this content useful and you enjoy watching these videos, could you go ahead and net that like button for me? It really helps the channel grow and it shows me that you guys are interested in this content. Alright, back to the video. What I like to do at this point is add just a little dusting of the cure. Now that we've got a lot of the liquid out, I want it to kind of harden up the bait a little bit. Without all the liquid in there, I'm going to add a little more to my shrimp here and then put it in the container. Alright, so I've got our bait transferred into the containers. Nice vivid color already starting. If you want to add any type of attractant, scent, or flavor, now would be a good time to do that. Put this in the fridge, maybe once a day. Give it a good rotate because what's going to happen is you're still going to get a lot of liquid drawn out because of the cure and that'll keep it the top layer from drying out too much. I've had really good luck with the corn lasting almost two months maybe just depending on how many times you get it out use it and how well refrigerated you keep it. The shrimp doesn't last nearly as long maybe a week or so. Alright after a few days in the cure, you should end up with something like this. They should smell nice and fresh, should have a very vivid color, they should store well, most importantly though, they should catch fish. Alright, I hope this video is useful to you. Till next time, tight lines, I'll see you in the next one.